Hey, people of CPM. Today we're going to be praying over Lil Wayne, and today I have with me Micah. And we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing some serious praying. We're going to be lifting him up in three major areas. So listen closely before we go into prayer. I want us to pray over him when it comes to condemnation. You know, the Bible says there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And I know that he has professed himself to be a Christian. And so because of that, he is in Christ Jesus. And there is no condemnation towards him. So we need to pray against that. Because condemnation can get you to do things you don't need to do. It's like one of Satan's biggest tools against us as a family. Uh, another thing we're going to be praying about today, and this is the second point. We're going to be praying that his heart will be open. That's really, really important because if his heart isn't open, he's not going to hear what God has to say to him. And he needs to know that there's a God out there that loves him. He knows in his head it's a head knowledge, but his heart needs to know that. Because when his heart knows it, there's going to be some changes going around. And then third, we're going to be praying about his we're going to be praying that he'll step into his destiny. And a very important aspect of that is we need to pray that in, as he steps into it, that there's going to be people around him that guide him and leads him forward. Because it's easy to step into your destiny, but if you have nobody per, you know, working with you and protecting you in prayer and stuff, it's really hard. I, I know from experience, if I don't have somebody with me, if I don't have my admins praying with me, I mean, this, it, it's just, things don't happen well with, unless you have somebody else pastoring you and helping you through. So, here we go. We're going to start praying over him right now, so... Bow your heads, close your eyes, do whatever you're going to do, look up at the ceiling, however you pray, do it, you know, passionately. Here we go. <laughs> Lord Jesus, I just want to start off thanking you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for, for little Wayne. Thank you, Lord, for Dwayne Jr., Father God. Thank you, Lord, that he is a child of God, and he is a part of your family, Father God. He's a part of our family, because if it's your family, it's our family. We're part of yours. I mean, it's just really exciting. So I thank you, Lord, for him. Thank you, Lord, for all the things he's accomplished, all the things he has had for his future. Thank you, Lord, for all the good things he has done. And I lift him up to you right now, and I come against, we as a group, we as the CPM, come against the spirit of condemnation. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. None. None. The Bible says so. No condemnation. None. And so anything that's coming against him, causing him to beat himself up, you know, look how bad he is, or that kind of stuff. Other people around him, things that he's doing, something rising up. I just come against that spirit, and I say, shut up, in Jesus' name. Shut up. There is no condemnation, and he will not have that come against him. No way. And I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you are a God who is loving and strong and who helps us through things. And I thank you, Lord. You build us up. <sighs> Hallelujah. And I thank you, Lord. I just thank you, Lord. Praise you, Father God. Thank you, Lord, for all the things he has to do, but thank yes. you for his heart. Thank you, Lord. He's, he's probably had some walls around his heart. But right now, I come against those walls. I say those walls must fall, Father God, because you. I think, Lord, you're going to get through to him. Thank you, Lord, that those walls come down just like the walls of Jericho's down. Uh, Jericho, those yes. walls came down. They're just going to come down flat. They're going to come down. And I, I just thank you that your, your love can infiltrate his heart and bring him peace yes. and bring him, bring him love and help him, Lord, to see the things he needs to see, Father God, that you've been trying to tell him. Thank you, Lord, his spiritual ears will be open and his heart will be open to receive the good news, the gospel, whatever you're trying to tell him. Thank you, Lord, he's going to receive it today. Thank you, Father God. I thank you, Lord, for that. Praise you. Praise you, Father God. Thank you, Lord, that he's going to step into his great destiny. Yes, God. You've got a destiny for him. And it's better than what he's going through now. Something bigger, something better than what he's got right now. Something that's going to affect more people. Thank you, Lord, that he is going to step into his destiny, Father God, like never before. Thank you, Lord, that as he steps into that destiny, too, yes, that God. you planned for him. Thank you, Lord, for rising up people beside him. Yes. Pastors and preachers, brothers, Father God, and sisters, Father God men and women that are going to guide him in the right direction. Now, when he starts to take a wrong step, they're going to say, hey, look, bro, you can do better than that. Yeah. And they're going to help him with love. <laughs> People who are saved and filled with the Holy Spirit coming up to help him, 
guide him in the right direction. Thank you, Lord, sure. you got your hand upon him, help him, to over, help him to come through his destiny, Father God, to answer the questions he has in life, Father God, to do the things he needs to do and to affect the public of America and the world. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You've got great things going on for him. Yes. Great things in store. Thank you, Lord, his heart's going to be open. Thank you, Lord, the door's going to be open. Thank you, Lord, people are going to come to his side to help him out for whatever he's going to be going through and help him step into the destiny correctly, Father God. The one you plan for him to be prosperous and well and all that's going to go good. Yes. I just thank you. And I give you praise. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Father God. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for this. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes. And I praise you in your holy name. Amen. All right, guys. Well, this has been the next prayer for CPM. It's been good. Thank you for praying with us. We're going to be doing it again. You just wait and see. There'll be another video coming up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know. It's going to be exciting. So you keep watching. We're going to do another video. Probably going to be next week. So get ready. It's going to be great. We'll see you again next week. You have a blessed week. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs>